what's going on YouTube, Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and in today's video guys we are going to be talking about how to make coins currently in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. There's a lot of different ways and uh, a lot of people have different opinions on it so what I have today for you guys is a co-host of this episode uh, with me and that is the NIMBY12. If you guys haven't checked out his channel before be sure to head on over to his channel. I will leave a link to that in the description below and we'll also have an annotation pop up on the screen pretty pretty much right now if you guys are uh, interested in uh, checking out his channel so definitely go over there check that out uh, he's got good content and he definitely needs some more subscribers as well so check out his stuff um, but again let's talk about uh, how to make coins so uh, we're gonna be again talking to the NIMBY 12 and I'm, he's gonna be giving us some suggestions on what he would do uh, as far as the current content that's in the game right now so uh, NIMBY tell me currently what you're doing in Madden 16 ultimate team to gain coins well, right now, uh, thanks to it being Friday the 13th, uh, using those most feared players to get the journey done. That's what I yep. do today. Friday yep. the 13th, get those most feared players done. Just get your Dre Archer, your Terrell Pryor, get those tall guys, get the journey done. You get about 60K and I think a Legend Pack X Factor game changer. And of course, my boy Amari Cooper. So that's about 100K. Yeah. And then you got packs. Yeah. And, and so I'm. And some of those packs, you get some some really nice stuff. There's also like the uh, the Journey Elite Player Pack that you yes. get. Yeah, you get some of that stuff. So if if you're new to Madden Ultimate Team, um, again, go out here like he said and and get some of these most feared items today, uh, because it's Friday the 13th, so they are re enraged. It's it's called enraged this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it, they are re enraged right now, and and there's cards like the uh, the Dre Archer, like he mentioned, that is 99 speed, 99 acceleration. I currently have that on my roster. So I'm going to be working through some of these uh, solo challenges myself today. Uh, I haven't even started the journey two yet, but uh, if like he mentioned, if you guys haven't done that, that's a really easy way right now to go out there and uh, do these solo challenges because you're going to have the advantage of having the super tall, super fast, super athletic players going up against an. an average team um, so it's, it's a really easy way and this is a great time to do it um, it doesn't take long I, I know it looks like it does because there's 64 games it doesn't really take that long to do each of these because there are quite a few of them where you pretty much just go into the game kick a field goal and you're done yeah. uh, so uh, it, it's not too bad and if you guys watch a couple of my previous videos on how to do solo challenges quickly you can really get through those things really really quickly so uh, definitely go out there and do that. I, I would certainly agree with that. Now, uh, there's a lot of other great content in the game right now as well. One of the things that's currently uh, a big topic is the Deion Sanders right now, which takes 200 elite badges to do. Uh, but the NIMBY12 has a suggestion for you. Rather than doing the Deion, what do you recommend? Now, if there's going to be some people that watch it that might still want to do Deion after this. But if you get, think about it, 200 elite badges, they're going for about 20K. It's harder to sell a 4 million card this early in the year. Instead, sell the badges 20K a pop. You're going to get around 4 million coins this early in this year. That's crazy with Thanksgiving promo coming up. We know Barry Sanders will be coming soon probably. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a real good chance that there's going to be a Barry Sanders for uh, the Thanksgiving promo, which is coming up. Uh, there's a good chance that uh, there could potentially even be a Dion available in that Thanksgiving yeah. uh, set as well. There was, there have been in years past. Dion is a, a big guy, obviously, on the Cowboys. Um, real quickly on my screen, you don't see this, NIMBY, but uh, I'm showing the Dree Archer right now, which is enraged. Six foot eight. 99 speed, like I said, 99 acceleration. It's just ridiculous. This card's insane for a running back. Um, at at the moment, uh, while it's enraged, I believe this is the best running back in the game, personally. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, there, you're definitely uh, looking at a beastly item there. And there's other items that you can put in as well into your lineup and not spend a whole lot. We, we looked before uh, this... Uh, starting this video, and Dre Archer was going for somewhere between 11 to 15k, depending on uh, when you were, um, you know, looking at it. Of course, right now there's one up for 10, 10,250. So if you're planning on doing this solo, uh, the the um, the journey, sure. go ahead and uh, go out there and and get the Dre Archer and get some of these other guys because you're going to do uh, work with those guys and and win very very easily. Uh, but like he mentioned too, you know, there's it's it's all about finding the right time to sell things in this game, and and the elite badges is a, a really good point because um, I think a lot of people have this idea that they should just stock up on things and, and wait and wait and wait and wait all year uh, and then sell it for you know instead of selling your elite badge for 25k, you sell it for 30, 35k, and, and I understand if you've got a hundred of them. 
you know, that's going to make a big difference. But uh, to me, I personally don't like to sit on too many things like elite badges unless they're going for super, super cheap for some reason. Um, because what ends up happening, guys, is that you you lose out on some of the fun stuff that comes out throughout the year and you lose out on the potential to pull really great stuff in packs if you're to uh if you're to pull packs at the right time and things like that so um i i don't usually recommend holding on to cards badges are maybe the one exception but uh even then i don't usually hold on to them and like he said selling them typically is going to be more efficient than uh doing a big set like uh deon sanders right now (laughs) so uh so we've talked about doing the um the uh, journey we talked about not doing the Dion for most people, I would say, uh, not going out there and spending four million coins on doing the Dion Sanders. But what are some other ways uh, right now that you that you see to uh, to make coins in this game? I mean, uh, are there sets that you're currently doing right now? I know you mentioned the MVP sets. There are a couple of those that that you can be pretty profitable doing. But uh, give us some tips on on which ones you recommend doing and the easiest ones to complete as well. All right, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of coins, but if you do the journey, then you'll have enough coins to get at least one of these sets done. Yep. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Rams MVP <laughs> sets, because you can put the Blake Bortles and the Todd Gurley's in those sets, and you're done with the um, elites there. And then you just got to get yourself the road sign, some gold carts for like 1,000 coin. You got yourself 293 receivers that go for 200K or more. And I just did the Tavon set for about 150k and sold them for 270. That's that's really really nice. Uh, that that is the kind of stuff where you can easily make a profit. And uh, after this video comes out, I imagine some of those guys might, you know, you might end up having to uh, lose. They might they might drop a little bit in yeah. price after this video comes out potentially. But still, if you're one of the first people to to take tips like this and turn them into profit, you can you can really do great for yourself. Um, and, and, you know, so you mentioned the Jaguars. What was the other one that you said? Oh, uh, the St. Louis Rams. Oh, that's right, the Rams. Yep. Um, yeah, so, you know, these these elite cards are not that hard to come by. So um, you can certainly go out there and, uh, and do these sets for relatively cheap and turn them into major, major profit right now. Um, so those are kind of the, the main sets as far as the MVPs go. Um, what about things like holding on to uh, some of the low overall golds? Because I know a lot of people have differing opinions on whether you should try and sell those now or hold on to them. Uh, do you have any opinion on, you know, like your 73 overall golds and things like that? Uh, I keep all my 72, 73, and 74s, unless if they're like the Josh Morgan that sell for a ton right now. Yeah. Because I think the 72s and 74s are going to go in a trophy set down the road. But it's just speculation, so I wouldn't say and go out and stock up. But if you pull them, I would keep them. Don't don't add them into the sets. Basically, is yeah. what you're saying, like your yeah, MVP sets. Uh, add add guys that are like 77 overall golds and things like that into those sets because those cards are typically not worth a whole lot and uh, they're easy to come by and you can uh, you can really get some good profit off of doing those MVP sets and things like that. Um, now, as far as like uh, any other any other sets that are currently in the game. Um, that you're that you find to be interesting right now are, are there anything other than the mvp sets uh let me take a look uh you could maybe the there's a packed road in the road of the playoff if you could pull a road sign collectible that's mm. one of the cheaper one like a Redskins. you get a yep. road of the playoff pack i mean that's obviously a chance on the road of the playoff pack but it's a free 50k pack true true i'd probably take the risk but uh, for solos, there's some solos. The dual style, because McCoy and Mangold sell for 200k a piece. Yep. But that's going to take a little more skill with the team wise, because getting the Schefter stars, there's not many out because they keep getting removed. Yep. Yep. Uh, I would try and do dual style. Okay, and then uh, one other thing that we had, we actually came across regarding dual style uh, prior to recording this video, uh, tell them about the the D'Angelo Hall. Uh, Madden season cards come out every week. I think it's Wednesday they come out, sometime middle of the week. Uh, D'Angelo Hall came out in October. He's a defensive uh, defensive back, and he gives plus seven to long pass at corner. Yep. So that's helped your offense right there. Just yeah. Out and taking a spot in the offense. Right. So this is a defensive player that you can put into your lineup that will help you with your offensive styles. So it's like you mentioned, it's it's basically a bonus, uh, and it makes doing those those specific um, 
uh, styles a lot, a lot easier. So, uh, and like he mentioned, right now, I mean, honestly, this is the time to do these solos, uh, to grind and get them done because there's going to be awesome content coming out for Thanksgiving. There always is. Last year, Thanksgiving, in, in my opinion, Thanksgiving was the best promo that they did all year. Yeah, um, it was a good promo. The cornucopia packs always fun. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, for for a YouTuber, uh, for for those of us that like to do the the big pack openings, like the cornucopia was by far the funnest thing that they did, in my opinion. Uh, you know, other people might might talk about other sets that they did throughout the year that were maybe a little bit more profitable, but for me, it was like it, it was that rush that you got when you were opening the cornucopia pack. You yeah. guys saw it. I opened up Barry Sanders in my cornucopia pack, and it was like. It was just one of those things where I hadn't opened up a damn thing all year, and then I get Barry Sanders, and it was like, yes, this is finally all worth yep. it, you know? So uh, now is the time to to accumulate coins, to go out there and uh, do some of these solo challenges, get this stuff done, um, because it, you can really get a ton of coins, and it doesn't take that long to do. Uh, if you spend a day doing it, you're going to be able to get through a ton of them. You're going to get a ton of coins. You're going to be able to open up a ton of packs. And also right now... Um, they're, uh, they gave away a, a, a free uh, packs for those that were in uh, the Mutt Rewards program. If you guys still haven't signed up for Mutt Rewards, you got to go out there and do it, man. Yeah. Uh, like, this is, this is the time to do it. Uh, it really, really is uh, because you can get awesome stuff. Uh, I, I fully expect that they're going to be giving us presents during the, uh, the Christmas, the holiday season. I fully expect that they're going to hook us up with free presents in this game and, uh, or at least packs to get presents, yes. something like that. And, I mean, you might be able to get some epic stuff. So all you have to do is sign up on the, the EA Sports website for Mutt Rewards, and you're going to be able to have the opportunity to get that. Uh, if you've opened up a lot of packs in this game, you can certainly uh, benefit from that. If you're in the Legend tier, you got, what, two uh, Mutt Rewards Road to the Playoff packs? Yeah, that's $10 worth of packs right there for free just for signing yep. up. Yeah, and, and uh, I got, for right now, I'm not in the Legend tier quite yet, but um, I, I even still just got one for being in the Gold tier. So uh, that's a free $5 pack right there just for doing nothing other than signing up on the website not to mention they hook you up with stuff uh, on occasion I've, I've seen people that are in the legend tier get literally hooked up with like play not playoff game but like regular nfl season game tickets to like yep. their favorite team and, and uh games. yeah games free games like nba live and uh, madden are obviously early yeah. on yeah, uh, the first uh, batch of stuff that came out for mutt rewards people got free copies of madden before it came out um, and I was pissed off because I was signed up on Mutt Rewards and I didn't get anything because of various different screw jobs. But uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> but anyway though, you do need to sign up there for uh, for Mutt Rewards because you get stuff like this free uh, Road to the Playoffs pack. Um, and, and so you know there's there's great rewards that you can get from doing that. But again. Sign up on there, do that, get all of your solo challenges done right now, uh, do some of those MVP sets as well, ones, uh, ones like he mentioned that, uh, that you can complete with, um, with some of the easier to come across elite players and things like that, because uh, you can really profit big time on doing those types of things. Uh, anything else that you want to go over as far as uh, making coins here in Madden 16 at the moment? Uh, the warehouse sets they added new. You can add any 10 uniforms, stadiums, and playbooks, and you get three badge packs. So if you have a yeah. big binder full, you can really stack up on badges. And like I said, you could put them towards large quick sales, upgrade to elites and sell them. There's a lot to do with those uh, badge packs right there. Yeah, that's that's actually a really good point. Um, I totally forgot about all those things. Um, you know, there's right now there are actually a lot of different ways for you to get uh, badge packs as well. And uh, if you if you think about the fact that Deion Sanders can potentially be pulled or not pulled, but uh, the set can be completed, there are people that are trying to get the elite badges and, uh, and even gold badges to upgrade to elite badges. So if you pull golds, if you pull elites, you can sell those things for a good profit right now. Um, and, and really, it doesn't cost a whole lot to get them. No. Uh, so. Yeah, another another really good uh, another really good option for you guys to go out there and make some coins. But um, yeah, bottom line, guys, right now is the time to stock up on coins. Like I said before, the uh, the Thanksgiving promo comes out because it's going to cost a lot of coins to do things like if they do another cornucopia pack, and then of course during the Christmas season when they're doing the presents, it does cost a lot to get invested in those things. But you can really turn it around for a lot of profit. If you've got a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand coins, you can really t you know invest that and then pull out three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand or even up to a million coins uh, as happened to me last year with that Barry Sanders. So uh, with that being said, NIMBY12, anything else you want to add? 
No, I think that's all. I think we covered most of the content. It's a lot of stuff right now. I recommend yeah. putting in your Madden and playing it right after the video goes live. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, there are other games out right now that uh, a lot of people want to play, and I, I fully understand that. But this is the time to, to make your coins in Madden. You can really do great for yourself if you make some coins right now doing those solo challenges and various different sets. So go out there and do it, guys. Thanks to the NIMBY12 for coming out of the channel, talking about this stuff with us today. Again, guys, go over, check out his channel. He's got some great content. He needs more subscribers, though, because, man, he's, he's doing a really great job grinding to get good videos out for you guys, and uh, he deserves more support. So thank you guys for all the support on my channel. Head on over to NIMBY12's channel, and the link will be in the description below. Uh, and, again, check out his content. So thanks one more time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.